Greetings from downtown Kagoshima. It's time for breakfast before I get back onto the road to hitchhike. And I'm here in um, for breakfast. And if you look, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I'm gonna turn it around. Here it is. In Temmokan, in central Kagoshima, the crepe vending machine. Now there's a lot of interesting things about this, including the owner giving his cell phone number in case there's a problem. There's also the date to show that it's fresh. It was made uh, yesterday on the 27th. And there's like about 30 different varieties of crepes to choose from. This one here says custard banana. This one here is, yeah, also custard banana. Oh, they're all custard banana. But anyways, this one here says um, uh, chocolate nama cream with a cake inside. This one is Nama Caramel Special. And this one is a Custard Banana. So this one has a potato in it. How weird is that? Whoa. All of them are 200 yen. So. In this live stream from Kagoshima, I'm going to unbox one of them. Which one do you think I should eat? Now this one says Hershey's chocolate is inside of it. I'm American, I'm sort of impartial to Hershey's. But I, I think uh, maybe for breakfast, um, chocolate might be a little bit too much, huh? The potato one, huh? Maybe the caramel. Custard looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna go with the caramel with the cake inside. Well, everyone say potato. Now I'm lost. I think it's going to be a big disappointment. I think if it, if you go with the potato, it, you, it's not going to be. It's not going to live up to expectations. Here is the potato, and here is the nama caramel. For full disclosure, I've already eaten them, and and uh, I'm going to throw that away later. But I made a vlog this morning with it, and I've already eaten it, so I know which ones are the good ones. But full disclosure. <laughs> so what do you think? Uh, custard sounds real good too. So is that caramel. The potato, I got money for two of them. I have enough money for two of them. But I really don't want to eat two crepes before I start hitchhiking. That's going to be um, pretty sad for the next person. Fix me up. They were pretty smart. They put this vending machine right where all the buses come. All of the buses come to, this is the central uh, entertainment area. All the buses come here, going to the airport. So people are often waiting for 30 minutes. And if you're gonna be waiting for that amount of time, you're gonna put a lot of vending machines. And of course, you're gonna put a crate vending machine right there. All right, let's go for it. Um, I'm gonna, Put in the 200 yen. <laughs> the moment of truth. What's gonna be? What's it gonna be? Um, I'm gonna go with the caramel. You know why? Because I know it's gonna look really awesome. There you go. I'm pushing the button and then we're gonna watch it come down here. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh that's such a good sound. All right, here we are. Is that not the coolest thing? They were so ingenious with this. They took um, a regular Coke machine with a can and they put it glasses in it the same shape as a can. And then they put the crepe inside of the glass jar. It's refrigerated, it, the jar is cool. And the expiration date is on the crepe as well. And it says here, don't throw this glass away, recycle it. There's a recycling bin, which everybody of course does. It, this being Japan, when you're finished with it, you put the glass jar back there. But is this not the most amazing thing? I'm just very, very um, just stunned with the ingenuity uh, on how you take something that we use abroad every day, the uh, Coke vending machine or Pepsi vending machine, and they find a way to put a crepe in it and sell it on the street for 200 yen. 
which is more than a koala would be. Okay, now it's time to unbox this thing. While I'm holding, holding the camera. How am I supposed to do this? I'm going, I'm going rogue. Here you go. Boom. All right, recycle the glass. There you go. It's pretty light. It's not very heavy. Um, Nama Caramel Special. It tells the ingredients on the back. I kind of like that. So you know what you're eating. All right. Here we go. If I can put this camera down. Aha. I'm using the DJI Osmo right now. Oh, this will work just fine. Okay. Crepe vending machine. Crepe. 200 yen. Looks like a crepe. Smells like a crepe. <laughs> Alright, are you ready for this? <coughs> Alright, stay with me, DJ Osmo. Hey, Osmo! Hey now. Love and peace. I'm turning it off. Here we go. Now it's time for the moment of truth. We're gonna bust this baby open and see what the net nama caramel and cake look like. You ready? Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Man, they put in a lot of cream. And you can see that caramel oozing out. Look at that. Whoa. Vending machine crepe. All right, here we go. That's so sweet. This is so darn sweet. I think the caramel is a little bit too much. They put a piece of cake in it. I don't know if you can see that. So there's a piece of, I think it's Castella cake. And with the caramel, it's... Uh, mm. Visually, it looks really awesome, but the taste is a little bit too sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna put this to the side. It's enough of that. And, um... Shall we try another one? Hmm. Let's see here. Gosh, I can go for coffee, too. See these coffees, they're all heated. And these are and these are cold. I could go good with a coffee. Oh they have Telly's coffee here. Oh look at that. Mm. Alright, back to back to the crepe vending machine. Um Alright, you know what? Everyone was asking me to go for the uh, um, the potato one. It says emo. So I'm gonna go for that one. That's this one here. Kagoshima is famous for the Satsuma Imo. So I'm sure it's gonna be okay. Alright, here we go. Potato. We're going potato this time. This is for science, people. And my breakfast. Here we go. Alright. Potato, crepe. Let's go one in the middle. Oh wait, it's flashing. They're all sold out. What? No! No! It's hard to see, but this light here that's flashing is, uh, uh, Urikire, which is sold out. Darn! Oh man, I'm sorry. You're not gonna get a chance to see, um, potato one. Alright, plan C. Alright, what do we got here? Um, we have rare cheesecake. This is a rare cheesecake with strawberry. Okay, wait, now I'm changing my mind. Rare cheese with strawberry. Chocolate and custard. And um, that's about 
all that's left. And another Nama Caramel, I'm not eating that. Chocolate and banana. So those are your choices. Custard or cheesecake. Custard or cheesecake. We got one custard, we got some cheesecakes here. We got some chocolate, cheese, they're all flashing. Custard, strawberry. All right, looks like we're gonna go for the rare cheesecake. God, now the cheesecakes are really coming in. Cheesecake's gonna be, I bet you it's gonna be like this Japanese cheesecake that's really light, not heavy like the New York style, but I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, rare cheese, rare cheese with strawberry. Here we go. Nice. I love that sound. It's like you won something. Boom. Looks just like the last one. Please recycle in the bin, the expiration date. And here's a label telling you uh, the ingredients on the crepe again. This is really nice. I like... I'll put the camera down again. Another unboxing. Okay. Cycle. And it says here, rare cheese. <laughs> rare cheese, I don't know what that means in itself, rare cheese. It's cheese I guess you can't find anywhere else except for this vending machine, right? All right, oh. Ah, breakfast. Okay. This one looks a little bit less like a crepe. It's very light. Okay, here we go. Busting open a rare cheesecake crepe. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. oh yeah. Okay, there's not a, a lot of strawberries in there, but it's mostly, mostly cream and that rare cheese. It looks pretty good. Oh wow, that cheese is, that cheese is in there real good. Okay, here we go. Sweet. It needs more strawberry. Mm. That one had some strawberry in it. It's good. I think the cheese, you really have to be a fan of cheesecake to like this rare cheese because it's its too rich. Because there's already a bunch of cream. It's like just rich cream with, with um, regular cream and then there's not enough strawberries. So, sort of a letdown. I like the caramel one better. Ah. I'm gonna put this down too. So, all in all, that crepe vending machine is a pretty cool idea. <laughs> I like the fact that they put it right in the middle of the city. A high trafficked, high trafficked area. I like how you can recycle it right there. I like how they took a, a regular normal co uh, cola vending machine, drink vending machine, and they found a way to put cheesecake in it. Uh, not cheesecake, but crepes in it of so many different flavors like cheesecake and custard and banana. And that's just, that's just cool Japan right there. <laughs> All right, folks, so that was my breakfast. It's nice to share that with you. I'm gonna go get a coffee, try to find where the highway connects up to go up to Kumamoto and start hitchhiking. And today I'm gonna to make it to Kumamoto. Um, take a look at the castle. I'm really interested to see how Kumamoto's uh, been doing since the earthquake happened last year. Uh, and they've reopened the castle to the cherry blossoms this year, which is sort of a really good thing. So I'm looking forward to that and hopefully I get there before it gets, gets dark. So. Follow me on Instagram, follow me here on, on YouTube. I'll post some more live videos. 
go to the Only in Japan Go channel. It's a new channel that when I have enough subscribers there, I'm going to be doing more live videos like this, um, live on the spot unboxing where I can interact with you and then and then maybe make a better show that way. Uh, and also, um, if you can't support on Patreon and, and Kickstarter, um, there you are. Now I gotta clean up that mess. Alright, John and Kagoshima over and out. Back to the road.